Welcome, welcome. It is Friday. We made it. We are here. We do everything. If you are new to the channel, please click the likes, like, share, subscribe button. If you are old, welcome, welcome, welcome. You know I always come with a hot topic for Friday. And this topic we going to talk about is going to be just like, is the art of conversing dead? Because I feel like... In any relationship, it could be romantic, platonic, friendship, family, whoever. I feel like the art of being able to communicate and converse with one another is not really there. And I don't know if COVID made it worse or if people just don't feel like being bothered with other people. They're like, listen, I ain't, I ain't tired of your shit. And I don't want to be bothered, but I feel like it's always like mundane topics or like, hey, how are you? It's nothing like people are not calling each other no more. They just rather text or like, um, so it's very weird. And I feel like I, have, I know for me, with like my friends, I usually don't have to call you every day to be a friend. I'll tell you that right now. But I have like staple ones that we talk to every day, maybe two or three times a week. I have ones that I, I probably talk to like maybe like every like couple of months. But I swear to you, if I need them, they will be there running and i I know for a fact if I pick up the phone call and be like, I am not good, they will be there for me. Like, I don't have to be there 24-7 to be a friend, but I feel like most people like that. But, especially with what I see nowadays in the dating scene, y'all, people are not asking proper proper questions to get to know people. They're just like, hey, what you doing? What's up? Um, how are you? What are you looking for? But if you don't ask me some deep questions, I feel like you need to ask deep questions to know what people's mindset and head is at. You can't learn somebody just by having quick conversations that they're like, oh, yes, you, no. So I, there was this, <laughs> this was like, I feel like there's a disconnect. And I feel like for me, it's the connection that we're all trying to seek and find. And I feel like people seek, seek and find it in different ways. And like, I know for me, like, communication is big. Like, talk to me. Like, put your hand in my head and, and go through my hair, rub up my head and talk to me. That's good. I'll be open like shop. Okay, but anyways. So, I don't know if do y'all feel that communication has been, like, something that is being lost. I don't know if it's, like, technology and society that just has it, like, on low. But nobody is really talking and nobody is like listening to hear or talking to understand. It's a lot going on with this culture. And I feel like I have relationships is the best thing that we can have. And you have to maintain relationships. And you have to maintain that by having connection, by talking, by communicating, by doing things. It don't have to be something big and grand, but you should always have connections with people out there. And I feel like social media and, you know, COVID and all these different things that we had to go through for the past three years have really did a, a a disservice to us. And people have like, some people, you know, because we spent all that time inside, they have anxiety going outside. You know, people have mental breaks. People, there was a lot going on that we're still in the recovery mode of, even if you might not see it or, or know it. So yeah, you tell me in the comments if you feel that communication or conversing is the art that the art is being lost. So y'all, it's Saturday Friday. I'm here. Y'all enjoy. Bye.